Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you two things. So the first thing is how the Gitzel Systematic Tripod that I've purchased at the beginning of the year performs after I've traveled like to quite a few countries and two, how I normally set up my Adochrome gears to do um, slide, slide shots, um, time lapse, etc. So what you're seeing is how I typically set up on site. Obviously because of the COVID-19, I haven't been traveling lately so this is the best scenario that I can come up with which is in my living room so as you can see I've attached the slider with the slide module onto the tripod through the quarter inch thread um, next I'm going to attach the head plus onto the same quarter inch thread on top of the slider the process is a bit tricky because of the um, how to say position that I'm sitting so it, it gets a bit of used to and also I do not want to scratch the um, head plus too much because they are all solid aluminum. So once it is secure, I'll just attach the camera that is already balanced on the L bracket that comes with the head plus on the head plus. For this demonstration, I'm using my old Nikon D700 because the Z6 is currently being used um, to shoot this video. So once everything is installed properly, I will check one last time to make sure it's properly secure and solid before I adjust the um, spread of the tripod. At this height, the tripod is not very solid because the um, the angle of the legs are not wide enough as you can see there So what I normally do is extend the leg and then spread the legs of the tripod even further You could see that one of the things that I hope Adochrome can improve is there is no lock or anything on the head plus basically you can see the head unit is circling when I you know tilt the tripod I just wish that they could incorporate some sort of a lock like what they had on the slider So when everything is set up properly, I'll just um, connect the power supply to both the head plus and also the slide module. You could probably hear the notification. Um, once I hear that, I'll just fire up the Adochrome gear and then follow the on-screen instructions so that the units can be connected to the mobile phone. From there onwards, everything is pretty much straightforward. I'll show you like some demonstration. You can see that the slider is sliding and then the tripod is, is solid. I think my base plate is not really tight enough so you, you can see a little bit of movement. But once it's tightened out, it is really, really solid. You can see that the slide module, slider and head plus and the D700 combo is not exactly like but on that tripod, on this tripod, it is rock solid 
you can see the movement that this adochrome gear allows. So this is my setup when I'm using the um, Gitzel tripod with the adochrome gear such as the Head 1 or Head Plus um, with the shorter slider with the slide module V2 or 3, I can't remember because they just released a new one. But basically you can see that um, in order to achieve a stable ground, um, that is the setup that I use. So I spread the leg onto the second click so it gives like a wider spread. And as you can see there, I've only opened up the first leg of the tripod. So I can actually go higher, but because of, you know, the higher you go, the, the wider the leg will need to spread, hence it will take up quite a lot of space. This is one of the few tripod that I found that is travel friendly, i.e. I can actually check in in my hand luggage when it's all fully collapsed and it's not it's not very heavy as well. Bear in mind you're paying for you know the kids so quality and price but this is one of the best I can find that can accommodate this. So right now I've got my D7 OD700 with the 14 to 24 f2.8. So this combo is not exactly the lightest but as you can see from you know the clips previously shown it is rock steady. Right, for reference, I'm about 5'11", so as you can see, when fully extended with the head plus and slide module, or the slider on top, it's almost as high as me. So when I'm using the this combo, it's easy for me to just, you know, adjust my setting here. I even have to sl stand slightly higher, just so that I can view at the viewfinder more comfortably. And like I said previously, um, when the leg is fully extended, the angle is wider, so it's actually a lot more stable. So when I'm not using any of the slider or the head plus, I tend to um, stick this on top of the tripod. So this is the Adochrome Flex 2 head. Um, so the reason why I go with this is actually because of its low profile. And I've attached like a, a quick release Alka Swiss um, plate on top myself so that I can attach it to my um, camera quickly. So this is actually quite um, good whereby you can see that the height, the additional height that you can achieve is actually quite a lot. Um, right now, because I'm showing on my um, old D700, I haven't got the Alka Swiss plate attached so I can't really show you. But basically, this is how it looks like. Um, as I said before, because of the flexibility of this Flex 2 Head 2, I could achieve a good height just by doing so. And this is tightened by um, Allen key. So it can, it's, it can go as tight as you want or as loose as you want, but obviously you want it to be tight so that it can stay stable. As I said, I can't really show you because I haven't got things here, but it is really, really um, rigid. I might be, you know, selling Adochrome stuff, but I really like their, their products. However, they are quite expensive. So when I finish using the tripod, all I do is just... Yeah. It's really quick to just pack the tripod up. And because of the low profile of the flat steel head too, this collapses into like a really small, not really small, but small enough tripod that I could actually check in on my hand luggage. Um, so hope you find this useful. This is more like a follow-up review of 
how I use this tripod for the past, I don't know, six months or even a year, I can't remember. But I have been traveling this all over the world and it has never failed in any scenario. Oh, I would definitely recommend this if you know your finance allow or your budget allow. Hope you find this useful and if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and you know, maybe subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.